recent statistics from the CDC, about 10% of kids in Texas have been diagnosed with ADHD. It can make it hard for them to learn in school, cause them to act out in ways that can get them in trouble. But I sat down with an Austin doctor who says some kids are being wrongly diagnosed and some who need help aren't being diagnosed at all. What are we getting wrong when it comes to diagnosing ADHD in children? I think that there have been a lot of issues with the overdiagnosis or underdiagnosis of ADHD, and I think that we are sticking to strict criteria. Right now, doctors will diagnose a child with ADHD if they meet six of nine specific criteria. But Seton Medical Center doctor Sonia Krishna says we need to change our approach. Yeah, that's one of the troubles with psychiatry in general, but with ADHD, it is a bit subjective in that you do have to meet this arbitrary number. And now there's a new idea about thinking about it more on a spectrum. If you're a parent watching this, how do you know the difference between kid acting like a kid and something that perhaps they need to get some help for? Sure, I wouldn't say there's exactly one red flag, but if you notice that your child is just different from the other siblings in the house or different than their friends, that they can't get tasks done the way that other kids might be able to, or that they're getting in trouble maybe with the law or with schools in a way that they probably don't need to, um, I would probably seek help. Also, Krishna says if you or your child's parent has been diagnosed with ADHD, you may want to get them checked out. It actually seems to be the most heritable disorder we have. It's actually rated at 80%, meaning it's more heritable than height or hair color. So if someone in the family has it, it's much more likely that a child will have it. And she says lots of times people recognize it in their spouse or the children's other parent before they recognize it in the kid. There is good news, though, for parents of children with ADHD. Dr. Krishna says about half of kids who are diagnosed actually see it resolve itself by the time they hit 18 years old.